Great day to all of you, and thank you for staying on our educational channel, DepEd TV. Let us make your body, your heart, and your mind healthy. With me, Teacher Tony, your instructor for today. Join me as we discover more about communities and the environment here on our third learning episode. Together, we will shine here on Health Education 9. Do you remember our virtual tour of Puerto Princesa City in Palawan last week? That episode has opened our eyes to the perks or benefits that we can all enjoy if we have a healthy environment. During that one-of-a-kind tour, we have also learned about the types of environments. We also gained understanding about some determinants of a healthy community. It is no doubt that our planet is a giving planet. It continues to be very generous in providing a natural environment that supplies our need to survive. Food, water, medicine, materials for shelter, and natural resources. It serves as our only habitat to continue and enjoy life. Sad to say, when we overuse and abuse the environment, different problems and issues arise, all of which has a direct impact in our way of life, and most importantly, to our health. Today, we will talk about the nature of some environmental issues that our country is facing. Environmental issues are existing problems with the planet's systems that have developed as a result of human interference or mistreatment of the planet. According to a lawyer, educator, and environmental policy expert, and my tokayo, Sir Tony Lavinia, environmental issues can be classified as green, for problems related to terrestrial ecosystems. Blue, for coastal, marine, and water-related challenges. And brown, for pollution, waste, and other industrial problems. In addition, he suggested a fourth class of environmental challenge, the black issues, which are the enormous and existential challenges we are facing today. These issues include climate change, extinction of species, large-scale mining, and big dam projects. To help you understand better the different issues affecting the environment and our health, let us imagine and feel that we are an environmental specialist. So what exactly an environmental specialist does? As experts in natural science, they determine the causes of environment problems and suggest practical solutions to it. They focus on using their skills and knowledge to help protect and improve the environment while also making a positive impact in human health and well-being. Discussing problems and issues is a bit serious and quite difficult to talk about. But don't worry, we will make it lighter by incorporating in our discussions comic characters that represent each of the environmental issues. One of your tasks is to guess the specific problem that each character represents based on their appearance and features. We will call their group the Echo Trends. Let us now meet these fictional villains and think of ways on how we can defeat them. First on our list is Hazardo. Hazardo is comprised of a combination of different waste. He feels energized every time people take for granted how waste should be properly treated or processed. He is one of the culprit of water contamination flooding, air pollution, and spread of diseases. Hazardo is really gross, isn't he? What do you think is the environmental issue he represents? Wow, you got it correctly. Poor solid waste disposal. Solid waste management remains a major challenge in the Philippines, especially in urban areas. For example, in Metro Manila, more than 9,000 tons of waste are produced every day. Improper disposal, inefficient garbage collection, and lack of disposal facilities are among the primary concerns in the country's solid waste management. I hope that this new knowledge of yours will not be put into waste. What can you do to act on this problem? Next, let's meet Toxica. She originated from several water pollutants and toxic metals 
that accumulated in bodies of water through time. A huge part of Toxica is domestic sewage, or the wastewater that carries used water from our households. She also has oozing oil and chemicals on her body that she got from spills and illegal dumping of these substances. She is extremely delighted when she gets to spread waterborne diseases in communities. The government tries to clean up the problem on water pollution by implementing fines to polluters as well as environmental taxes, but many concerns have not been addressed. During the dry season, many areas still experience shortages of clean water. Let's meet the third member of the Echo Threads, Exhaustia. Dark-skinned and mysterious-looking, Exhaustia is born out of automobile exhaust, particulate material, toxic metals, and atmospheric acids. Her supremacy in the atmosphere is also caused by the presence of greenhouse gases and other pollutants, all of which can cause us respiratory ailments. You better wear your face mask on because you don't want to experience difficulty in breathing when you get a close encounter with Exhaustia. What do you think is the environmental issue she represents? If you answered air pollution, then you are correct. Did you know that in 2019, the Philippines ranked 57th out of 98 countries of the world's most polluted countries? Concentrations of tiny particulate matter known as PM2.5 averaged 17.6 micrograms per cubic meter last year. It exceeded a safety limit set by World Health Organization, which is 10 micrograms per cubic meter. The challenge now is how we can improve the quality of our air. Are you up for the challenge of taking actions that will lessen air pollution? And finally, let's get to know the leader of the group, Climadron. Highly intelligent and mechanical in nature, Climadron sees himself as superior to all others. As a result of global warming, he takes pride and is the culprit of hotter and drier conditions. Rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and disruption of the oceans, affecting living organisms and the natural environment. His lifeblood are the greenhouse gases that traps sun's heat that eventually warms the Earth's surface. Is Climadron really too hot to handle? What major environmental concern does this villain represent? You're right climate change. Our country is not exempted in the unpredictable and undesirable effects of climate change. For years now, our country has experienced extreme weather conditions that greatly affected our environment, agriculture, and economy. Our fictional villains, the Echo Threats, just represents a fraction of our list of environmental problems that our country is facing. Can you think of the other issues that affect our environment? Other existing environmental concerns in our country include Noise pollution Declined biodiversity and wildlife extinction Deforestation and illegal logging Illegal mining Landslides Dynamite fishing and coastal destruction And, sadly, a lot more you can directly feel the impact of the environmental issues in your community. That is why this lesson is designed to help you prepare on becoming responsible and proactive individuals. Being proactive means you are visionary, you are actively engaged, and you make things happen. I believe you are now ready to act as a junior environmental specialist and assess your community. On a clean sheet of paper, List down at least three environmental issues that you observe in your community. After that, rank them according to which is the most pressing concern, one being the most pressing issue. Then, answer the following questions. Number one, how do these environmental issues affect you and the lives of others in your community? Number two, as a responsible and proactive youth, what can you do to minimize, if not, solve these problems? 
You can share your answers by posting it on your social media accounts. You may include the photos of your existing environmental issues in your community and the practical things that you do in addressing these concerns. Reminder, our dear learners, always follow the safety health protocols set in your respective areas. Use the hashtag IamProactive and hashtag IamAnEnviHero. I would love to hear from you, so what are you waiting for? Post your answers and photos now. Environmental issues should not be taken for granted. We should all act now. Together, let's all be heroes and make a positive change in our environment. Speaking of change, starting next episode, Teacher Raziel will be your teacher for Health 9. Join her in discussing the prevention and management of environmental health issues. To our young Envi heroes, this has been Teacher Tony. Keep safe and make your health a priority.